Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the importance of keeping your chicken coop clean and what's better to use, lime or diatomaceous earth? We're talking about chickens today. So it's important to keep your chicken coop clean. Why? Because diseases spread by lice and mites and things like that uh, can really interrupt your chicken's health can really hurt your chickens in some cases and you need to control that in your coop. So it's been about three months since we cleaned the coop out. It's time for us to clean it out. You're gonna have to monitor your coop and determine the best time for you to clean it out depending on how many birds you have, how big your coop is, what type of breed, what you feed them, so on and so forth. So for us, it's that time. Once we get it cleaned out, we're gonna talk about those benefits of using either DE, diatomaceous earth, or garden lime, and which one is better. So we designed this little trap door here to be able to sweep the coop out straight into the wheelbarrow. This is flush with the floor, so we can just push everything right out into our wheelbarrow and then pull it right out of the coop. Easy, very easy to do. Now that the coop is clean, we're going to talk about these additives that you can put into the coop to help maintain the coop cleanliness and keep down odor and help control mites and lice and things like that that could be detrimental to your chickens. So the first one we're going to talk about is DE or diatomaceous earth. It is mostly silicon dioxide that is mined. Now you can get two types of DE. One is food grade and the other one is crystalline. The one you want is food grade, and here's why. The food grade DE is not as sharp. It's called amorphous. It's not as jagged around the edges as the crystalline. So if you didn't know, the way DE works for pest control is it cuts or slices their uh, exoskeletons or their skin, and it dehydrates them. So the, uh, the lice or mites or things like that, they die because of dehydration from being cut on the exterior by this really, really sharp powder. You wanna use the food grade in the coop because the crystalline form is a little too sharp and could, could cause uh, cuts on, microscopic cuts on your chicken skin, giving the ability for um, diseases to get in through that, those cuts on the skin. So let's talk about lime. This is garden lime or agricultural lime and is different than hydrated lime. So be careful which one you purchase. Hydrated lime is calcium hydroxide and it can be caustic on your skin and it can hurt your lungs, eyes, and it can do the same for chickens. The USDA has a study out on not using hydrated lime in chicken coops. Now, a lot of people do use hydrated lime on the farm for, uh, to keep down ammonia odors and to dry things out a little bit in horse stalls and things like that and it's usually fine to use for horses but not for chickens. So ag lime is mostly dolomite lime. It is mostly calcium carbonate which is fairly inert. It's not harmful at all. So this does a fantastic job at keeping down odor and also controlling uh, mites and lice and things like that in your coop. The way it does it is it dehydrates them. So if they come in contact with it, it will dehydrate and suck the water right out of uh, that, those pests in your coop. So this one, in my opinion, does dual duty over this one. Now you can use this one, but if you have a smelly coop, I would use the lime because the lime is gonna help eliminate those ammonia odors from uh, the chicken uh, poop that's already in there. Now most garden lime comes in pellet form. And those pellets are fine, but we like to have a smaller, finer granule that is more easily distributed throughout the coop and you get a better coverage on it. So what we do is we take our pelletized lime. We've got an old cast iron here, uh, skillet here. We've got a rock and we just kind of use a mortar and pestle idea and we crush it up a little bit and then we'll spread it around the floor of the coop. 
So when you're cleaning your coop, you want to make sure you're knocking down all of the poop that gathers on the roosting bars over time. And those are the places where your mites and lice are really going to congregate and gather is in their feces. And if it's stuck here where they're sleeping, that's not, good, not a good thing. So we keep an old trowel handy and we just scrape it down. We do this more often than we clean out the floor of the coop. So we're scraping down things all the time into the bedding on the floor so that we can get it out of the coop eventually. So we've got our crushed up garden lime here, our egg lime. It's simple, we're just gonna spread it around the bottom of our coop. And we're actually gonna put a little bit, try and get it up on the roosting bars, that powdered uh, garden lime that I did there. Getting it up on the roosting bars and help to control any lice or mites that happen to be in any of the uh, chicken poop that I did miss. Now it's the same thing with our diatomaceous earth. Now the nice thing about the DE is that it's a really fine powder. So if you need to get it, you can see I've splattered some here on the wall before, but if you need to get it on the roosting bars, it's really much easier to do that, uh, to get it on all those, um, the nasty parts of the roosting bars. And just sprinkling it around the coop is much easier. But again, it's not gonna control odor, even though it does control the mites and lice. So if you don't have a stinky coop, it's great. You can use this and it's really, really easy to spread around. So now that we've got the coop cleaned out, we've got our odor control and pest control additives in the coop, on the floor, we're gonna add some more uh, bedding. For us, that's straw, we like straw. A lot of people add pine shavings, you can do that. Whatever you use as your bedding, you can use as your, as your bedding. So just a word of caution, if you're using the deep litter method of composting your chicken manure inside your coop, these methods aren't going to work because it is going to kill off all the beneficial microbes that are in there breaking down and helping to eliminate the bad bugs inside of your coop. So it doesn't discriminate. Neither DE or Lyme discriminate in what they kill. So if you're doing that method, which we do not, don't use either of these two. So out of these two, DE or Lyme, I think that the Lyme is better because it does control odor. But if you're the type of person who cleans your coop out all the time, you don't have a lot of chickens, it doesn't get that stinky, then use the DE. So also, if you're worried about the chickens eating the DE, you don't have to worry about it. It's food grade, they can ingest it with no problems. Are you gonna play with the chickens? You like, you like the chickies? Are you gonna eat them or play with them? Or hurt, just hurt them? Huh? I don't know with you. Now, I want you to go check out this video right here, which shows you how to build this predator-proof chicken run. Have a great day. We love you. See you on the next video. Bye.